my dear friend at the Oxford Rail Adams Radial and uh, this is just a short video to explain about the problems with wheel slip and more particularly how to cure the it. The configuration is 442 and the problem is with these wheels at the back they uh, are spring loaded and they will move up and down slightly. What happens on many of the factory models as sent out is that uh, it causes this wheel to lift slightly leaving this wheel uh, shallow of the track particularly on very slight gradients or uneven track and, um, dramatically affecting the hauling capacity. Nothing to do with weight as I first thought this model actually has some additional weight but it's not making the difference. The problem that you can see is in here. So to cure it you remove these two screws, take off the contact section carefully. Screws are very tiny so you need to be careful with those. And there's two very small springs, one there and one there, which give pressure to the wheel. So the wheel lifts out and the two springs again you put to one side. And then what you so need one of these is things a drum. with a fine um, sanding bar at the end and use that to adjust the axle housing for the rear wheel um, by about one millimeter or less. It only needs a very small uh, additional grinding so that the travel of the wheel in its vertical up and down movement is slightly greater than it is at the moment on the standard model. And the result of all of that is that there's then sufficient play in the rear wheel that it doesn't lift these two wheels in the middle, the two driving wheels. So here we have the Adams hauling 12 coal wagons, many of which are full of coals and quite heavy. Uh, if they were empty wagons I reckon it would quite happily pull about 20 without any wheel slip.
Ja igen.